Um, so real quick today, I love that Matt touched on security so much in this intro. Uh, that's a spot that's near and dear to my heart. Uh, one of the areas that I work a lot is with NIST, standardizing security uh, around microservices. And one of the big things that we've honed in on is Envoy as this engine for a cloud native security kernel. So I wanna to touch on that real quick, why we think this is important and why we're excited about some of the work in the project uh, that's happening around it. Um, so like I said, I write standards around zero trust and I hate the phrase zero trust. It's an awful phrase. Uh, it's not well understood. But in short, you know, the attacker's already in the network, and therefore our job is to bound attacks in space and in time, uh, because traditional perimeter security doesn't really do that for us. And Envoy enables us to do this, whether we use it in the mesh as a sidecar, or whether we use it at ingress for, for traffic that's coming in, whether we use it as an egress proxy for, for things going out. Envoy is a phenomenal tool for helping bound attacks in space and time at the network level. Even more, what I work on with NIST is this idea of Envoy becoming a policy enforcement point for all sorts of policy, uh, whether that's network-oriented, you know, service-to-service -service Auth-Z, whether that's custom business logic that happens in WebAssembly, whether that's API gateway style things that's happening uh, as part of Envoy Gateway, for example. All of these pieces are policy that Envoy helps us implement. And so we want to see it go everywhere. Uh, we would like to, to see Envoy widely adopted because it gives us this common point to be able to implement all sorts of security and, and other policy. That's one of the reasons that we're so excited, and, and Matt mentioned some of the work on Envoy Gateway that's happening. That's why we're so excited about Envoy Gateway, which is a project that is really geared towards making it dead simple for developers to come in and use Envoy to get value, to, to actually get things done, not just you know handle bits and bytes on the network, but actually expose an API in a way that they can understand and, and get traffic to their applications, right? Uh, exactly like Matt said, honing in on some of these specific use cases where Envoy is really valuable but hard to wrangle today. Um, and we're excited about this project because it's built on uh, open uh, and standard APIs like the Kubernetes Gateway API, uh, and we'll look forward a little bit more as well. Uh, and it's got a really aggressive roadmap with a large community buy-in with real folks on the ground using it to replace you know, heavyweight enterprise uh, gateway software. And so that's driving a really compelling set of use cases, and we would love to see folks uh, hop in and, and participate here especially. But in this vein of enabling Envoy everywhere, we wanna see adoption, and we believe that one of the best ways that we can facilitate adoption for developers, not the folks that are in this room that, that you know, know Envoy and work with it, but everybody else, is abstraction above uh, the, the APIs that we're used to working with. XDS is really low level. Envoy has this, this perception of, of being a low level project, right? So we wanna start to bring that up. The gateway APIs are one set, and we wanna go even further with things like open API spec. Uh, the goal being to get as close to the developers as we can with Envoy early in the development process so it becomes uh, usable and valuable for everybody and not just for this platform team that, that's trying to do um, you know, this heavy, heavy uh, networking work. Uh, and exactly like I said, you know, we want to see it more widely adopted because we believe that this leads us to a world where we can have a more safe and secure infrastructure uh, across the board. Uh, this is stuff I'm working on uh, standardizing uh, from, the, from the spec and, and government standard space, and this is something we have engineers on the ground working on with Envoy capabilities, features, and, and security. Uh, and that's all. Uh, you know, we're really excited about Envoy Gateway. Please go look and, and for folks that are interested in that space, come in and, and dive in. And if you're interested in working on some of these things full-time, uh, we're hiring as well. Uh, but thank you all.